Hola mi gente, welcome to Kiss My Cross. My name's Maritza, thank you for stopping by. I hope you guys are doing well. And I um, want to welcome all my new subscribers. I had a small influx of subscribers recently. Thank you for subscribing. I hope you like the videos and that you stay a while and that we become friends. Please comment and, and um, let me know you're there and that you're watching. Um, what do I have for you today? Today, I have an unbagging from DIY Digital Art. I lost my train of thought for a second. <laughs> so, the kind people at DIY Digital Art um, sent me some more products to show you. And I um, did it again, mix it up. I got a cross stitch and I got some special drills, um, diamond paintings. Okay, so I'll show you the cross stitch first. It's really, really pretty. It's called Blooming Flower. And I believe this is a Joy Sunday based on that logo. Um, but then again, who knows? Um, so this is just, you know, flowers with a pretty background. And it's a 34 by 38 centimeter, 14 count. So you do it with two strands. Isn't that pretty? So on the back of every Joy Sunday, there is our instructions and then there are um, all the different stitches that you may have to do in your cross stitch um, kit, but it's not always necessarily any of these. I usually encounter this, maybe some halves, maybe some French knots, and I, I've yet to encounter fraction, fractionals and partials or whatever they call it. <clears throat> not that I've done so many I started the puppies I only got a little bit done like whenever I do sit down to cross stitch I'll make sure I'll put like at least one thread length into the puppies let me show you not much so some of that orange is done I started on um what else did I do this color right there here that little bit of orange I did it a little bit on where is it <laughs> a little bit on the dog there um, it's it's going slow I have it on my gorgeous Wizard of Oz project bag bag made by stitch and piece on Etsy I love 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 her project bags and I have about six of them so far um she's on vacation right now because i wanted to get one for a project that i'm planning to start and i want to coordinate everything i want to get a grime guard and i want to get a project bag and a needle minder and i want them all not to be like exactly matching but to be with within the same theme of my um Project. So in your kit, you get everything you need to start your project. You have your chart, you have your fabric, you have your floss, and on the floss there should be um, a little packet of needles. They usually give you two. Um, so your chart is a very thick, glossy, almost photo type paper, and um, and it's divided into different pages. So here we have the top part of the project of the image. Okay, and then here we have the back, the bottom part of the image. You have your color legend that you can refer to, and here you have information, a thumbnail. This is 150 by 172 um, stitches, and it's called Blooming Flower. It's 14 count. I think I said that already, and it's a very pretty image. This is going to be pretty. Now you can keep this chart if you want to use your own fabric. You can certainly use this for that. You can also use it to refer if this gets wet because this is an ink that they use um, to, that they, they stamp it with that will come off if this gets wet. Um, so try not to have, spill anything on it. Try not to work on it near bodies of water um, because if it gets wet, it's going to erase the ink off of it. But you can always use your chart to refer to it. Um, 
So this looks weird. It doesn't look like the image at all. And they use colors that are not part of the image. Um, and I believe they do that. So in case there are very similar image uh, colors next to each other, you can differentiate them. And it'll be easier on the eyes. It'll be easier and easier to do and will cause less mistakes. Um, so... I think that's that's why they do that. Um, so on the fabric itself, you have your legend. It goes through the bottom and to the side. How many colors does this have? This has a lot of colors. This has 54 colors. So the legend tells me that we also have some back stitching, and you will find the legend for that separate from the um full cross stitch legend. Okay. Um then we have, where's, where is, <laughs> oh, the floss. The floss comes already separated for you, and it's on a floss card. Hold on, let me get it, because I got it all discombobulated. So here's your floss card. The floss, floss card um, has all your colors separated by the coordinating color on the legend and your DMC, okay? And here we have two needles in there. And they're usually kind of a little bit blunt so you don't stick yourself. These have some this has some pretty pretty colors. Look at that. And it's not that big. So I mean it's not gonna <laughs> It's not gonna happen overnight, but you know, cause it's a, it has a little bit of confetti. Um, it's kind of respectful confetti and it has some color blocking. So, um, I enjoy them. I really do. I worked a little bit on my puppies, and it's coming along. I haven't done much on it. Like when I do sit down to cross stitch, I might pick that one up first. And do a thread length or tear, and then move on to what I really wanted to work. You know what I was planning to work on, but I always pick it up before I pick up my um, my main project. Which which one it is? I don't know. There's so many. <laughs> okay, so let's move on to the special drill diamond painting. So we have a basic toolkit, okay? And here we have all our drills, all the special drill. Oh my goodness, this has some pretty, pretty drills in it. We'll look at them, okay? This I think was a 30 by 30 canvas size. Oh my goodness, look at those cute ankle booties. <laughs> Are they not cute? This has 12 colors. You have Two small little legends, one on each side. We do have a thumbnail. Is this not adorable? I got too much glare on here for you guys. Is that not the cutest? <laughs> I love them. I couldn't wear these. I can't wear heels anymore. I don't really believe I could wear, ever wear heels because I always hated wearing them. They were so uncomfortable. Um, but I do admire a woman that can rock some heels. And there's the other legend. So it's kind of like a partial because these white areas here have no glue. Okay. That has no glue there. Only where you drill or where you put, you know, a gem is where you drill. It's so pretty. I love it. Let's look at the drills. Or the special drill. This will get done pretty quick. Ooh. Ooh. We have an AB, mi gente. Look how pretty that is. If you don't know what an AB is, it's a regular acrylic or resin drill um, with an extra coating on the top to give it a sparkle. And AB stands for Aurora Borealis because it kind of reflects the lights of the northern lights. 
And to see an Aurora Borealis is on my bucket list. I really, really would love, love to see one. And then we have some red crystals. Okay, let's see if I can get the glare out. <laughs> got some pretty colors they're very vibrant these crystals look at that pretty purple can you see that that's purple is looking kind of white yeah very vibrant okay so here's our first special drill it's sort of like a crystal ap in a marquee shape oh pretty here we have a green crystal AB in a marquee shape. Here we have a slightly larger marquee in a blue. And it's smooth. The other ones are faceted. These are smooth. <gasps> Look how pretty. Oh my goodness, those are pretty. Oh, those are two. Those are as well. Very pretty. I love it. This is going to be fun to work on. Okay, let's put this down. Oh, wait. I didn't put the drills in their bag. Okay, I'll do this when I'm done. <laughs> Okay, next. This one comes in a clear sleeve and I can't find. I can never ever find the sleeve. <laughs> Looks like it's here. Okay, I got it. Now see, this sleeve is nice and loose. I could probably get it back in, but I hate when it's on those really, really tight ones. I can never ever get it back in. So now I, then, you know, when, once that happens, I have nowhere to store this. So I keep the ugly gray bag that they come in. <laughs> okay. So here's another special drill. Oh, this has also ABs, crystals. Oh my goodness. But oh, okay. <laughs> This is a basic toolkit. It also has a couple of baggies. And it's a hummingbird. Isn't that pretty? I have it sideways. Here's the thumbnail. Isn't that pretty? The colors are beautiful. 30 by 30. It has 11 different um, colors you have two legends and again it's a partial the areas you don't drill do not have glue the only thing that has glue is are the areas that you do drill very pretty let's look at these Very pretty. Here's some white ABs. Is it coming through? It's hard to it's hard to show on camera sometimes. Very pretty purple ones. Oh, look at that. It's a really, really beautiful pink. It's a pretty green. I love that one. Oh my goodness. And another beautiful blue. And here are our... So most of these are just rounds and your ABs, okay? And then we have our special ones. Um, We have like this gold... Gold little round ones. Metallic. 
Nice. I love those. Look how pretty those are. Very elongated marquee in like a blue AB. A crystal AB. And here we have a larger round faceted orange. Very nice. I love it. These are pretty. They'll work up fast. You can introduce a young child to these diamond paintings. With I wouldn't give them a difficult one. Um, these are nice to start them off with. You have a friend or relative that you want to introduce. These special drills are fun to start with. Here's our final one. And I believe it's a bird as well. Yes. Another basic tool kit, kit <laughs> with a couple of baggies. And it's another hummingbird. And this is like a real partial because none of this gets drilled. But look at the canvas. Can you see there's like a little bit of glitter? Let's see if I can. It's so pretty. So the background will look pretty like that. And it's not pure white. It's got like. A grayish hue in the back and then you drill just the hummingbird this has 12 colors sorry I'm like all over the place here so there's your thumbnail it's a 30 by 30 canvas size there's some rounds there's some special drills and 12 colors in all let's check those out You can work this one up in like an hour, if, if, at that. So it has some really pretty colors. Here's that pretty pink again. Another white AP. Very pretty colors. Look at that one. Oh, that's interesting. They give you a black AB. <gasps> Look at these teardrops. How pretty are those? They're not coming. They look just kind of like, oh no, you can see a little bit. They just, they're looking blue, but there's purple in there. You can see it on this one, right? Very pretty. And here we have some really a little bigger of a crystal AB. Very, oh, I love them. Here we have some little tiny marquees. Hmm, those are going to be hard to lay down. Here we have those half gold metallic button looking ones. And here we have that marquee. It's like a blue crystal AB. Love it. Well, again, this has no glue. It's only the hummingbird that has the glue. Bueno, mi gente, this is it. I will link all these um, items down below. Thank you, DIY Digital Art, for sending me these things and to show my subscribers. I really appreciate you. I love working with you guys. And mi gente, this is all for now. You know what to do until my next video. Take care of yourselves. Be safe. And besos. Mm -hmm.